Good morning to all. Welcome to Bosco Campus Vision, the official YouTube channel of Don Bosco College, Kutia. Welcome, my dear students. Uh, in the number, in the number of the income tax administration, the first official video lecture. Uh, number S5 will all or important paper on income tax administration. So, we will module on first module is appeals and revisions, second one is penalty and prosecutions, third one is survey, search, and seizure. Fourth one is settlement of cases and advance rulings. And the fifth one is income tax authorities, their powers and responsibilities. So, in the number of Thoranga, the number of lecture class, official S5 and official classes start the income tax administration classes start the with the fifth module income tax authorities and their powers and Responsibilities. Now, we have a little bit of a syllabus. So, uh, let's begin with our session. Income Tax Administration, Module 5, Income Tax Authorities. So, authority. Uh, who is an authority? Authority means we are uppermost, or are guiding our institution, or like officials. We are authorities and explain it. So, uh, Government of India has appointed different authorities for the execution of direct tax administration. Not only for the execution of direct tax administration, but also for the execution of income tax and direct tax. As we all know that income tax is an important direct tax. Now, we have income tax and authorities. Central Board of Direct Taxes act as an apex institution of direct tax setup. So, the apex means the first and foremost institution. And in the income tax authorities name control in the organization on a central board of direct tax. Uh, it consists of a chairman and six members, central board of direct tax. Okay. So, uh, it performs various statutory functions and also performs various functions relating to the execution of income tax. But income tax in the execution of it related to the Korea functions perform in the statutory body on the Central Board of Direct Tax. Okay. So, the Central Board of Direct Tax in the detail in the class we discuss here. So, let us look into the various class of income tax authorities. As we already said, Central Board of Direct Tax is the apex institution of Direct tax setter. So, Central Board of Direct Tax is number first position. Kaigarium chain. So, the next one is Principal Director General of Income Tax or Principal Chief Commissioner of Income Tax. Principal Director General of Income Tax or Principal Chief Commissioner of Income Tax. Next is Director General of Income Tax or Principal. Chief Commissioner of Income Tax. Director General of Income Tax or Chief Commissioner of in Income Tax. Next is Director of Income Tax or Commissioner of Income Tax. Then Additional Director of Income Tax or Additional Director of Additional Commissioner of Income Tax or Additional Commissioner of Income Tax Appeals. Our our income tax appeals. Authority just in authorities just So uh, as additional director of income tax or additional commissioner of income tax or additional commissioner of income tax appeals. Then joint director of income tax or joint commissioner of income tax or joint commissioner of income tax appeals. Then deputy director of income tax or deputy commissioner of income tax. Then assistant commission assistant director of income tax or assistant commissioner of income tax. The random class of authorities of income tax explains both additional director and additional commissioner is equally important. The random and the income tax authorities and officers are okay. So then income tax officer, 
tax recovery officer, inspector. So these are the different income tax authorities. Just to know what I am, Central Board of Direct Tax, it's also known as CBDT. Central Board of Direct Tax, then Principal Director General of Income Tax or Principal Chief Commissioner of Income Tax, Director General of Income Tax or Chief Commissioner of Income Tax, Director of Income Tax or Commissioner of Income Tax, Additional Director of Income Tax or Additional Commissioner of Income Tax, FTs, then uh, Joint, uh, Joint Commissioner of Joint Director of Income Tax or Joint Commissioner of Income Tax or Joint Commissioner of Income Tax Appeals, Deputy Commi Director of Income Tax or Deputy Commissioner of Income Tax, then Assistant Director of Income Tax or Assistant Commissioner of Income Tax, then uh, in Income Tax Officer, Tax Recovery Officer and Inspectors of Income Tax are the different various class of income tax. So let's look into the definitions of assessing officer and commissioner of income tax. So the term assessing officer is defined under section 2 subsection 7a of the Income Tax Act of 1961. So assessing officer simply means any person who is appointed by the income tax department for the purpose of making assessment uh, of an assessee who is liable to pay tax. Okay, we are going to discuss who is an assessing officer and is a person who is responsible for assessment which is appointed by the income tax authority or income tax administration. The income tax department is appointed by the assessing officer. So, then the commission of income tax is defined under section 2 subsection 16. Okay, so both are defined under Income Tax Act of 1961. So let's look into the definition of the term assessing officer. So assessing officer means from different class of officers but in the lectures Okay, so that's why we have different class of officers already explained. So assessing officer means an assistant commissioner or assistant director or a Deputy Commissioner or Deputy Director and also includes a Joint Director or Joint Commissioner or Additional Director or Additional Commissioner. We will the class of officer and the back in the front loading in the back in the inspectors of income tax, tax recovery officer, income tax officer. So, you can class of officers. Assessing officer means an assistant commissioner or assistant director or deputy commissioner or deputy director or and also includes an additional, I mean, a joint director or joint commissioner or additional director or additional commissioner who is vested with relevant jurisdiction. Who is vested with relevant jurisdiction. What do you mean by jurisdiction? Jurisdiction means the power of a person to take legal action. Or a power, or a call of power. But if you have any legal action, you can punish your punishment. We have a jurisdiction. So, jurisdiction means the power of a person to take legal action or a power of an officer to take legal action. So, who is uh, the directions or orders? issued by central board of directors appo namakku assessing office and directions issue cheynathu aarana central board of direct tax and also they are also exercise the functions and powers of confined to an assessing officer or assessing officer ne endakka powers undo ad ellam exercise cheyan allengile ad ellam perform cheyanulla power ulla aare namak endannu vilikka assessing officer appo ningalku oru doubt thonum what are the powers of an assessing officer nammala verna class ile powers nammala explain cheyam okay so this is the definition of the term known as term uh, or officer assessing officer which is defined under section 2 subsection 7 
7A. Assessing Officer means uh, Assistant Commissioner, Assistant Director or Assistant Commissioner, Deputy Director or Deputy Commissioner, Joint Director or Joint Commissioner, Additional Director or Additional Commissioner who is vested with relevant jurisdiction uh, by the directions or orders issued by Central Board of Direct Acts and also they are, they are also uh, di directed to exercise the functions and powers confirmed, confined to an Assessing Officer. Confined means Assessing Officer on all the powers of exercise and all the power of the RA and all the power of the RA and all the assessing officer. So the next one is definition of the term Commissioner of Income Tax which is defined under section 2 subsection 16. Commissioner definition is a very good definition. Commissioner means a person who is directed to be a Commissioner of Income Tax or Director of Income Tax or Principal Director of Income Tax or Principal Commissioner of Income Tax. That is the Commissioner of Income Tax. That is the Income Tax Department. Commissioner of Income Tax is the Commissioner of Income Tax. Commissioner of Income Tax is the Commissioner of Income Tax. That is the Commissioner of Income Tax. Commissioner of Income Tax is the Commissioner of Income Tax or Director of Income Tax. Principal Commission of Income Tax or Principal Director of Income Tax. So that's all about with the definition of Commissioner which is defined under section 2 subsection 16. So in the number of the definition sum no key the, the definition of the term Assessing Officer and the definition of the term Commission of Income Tax. So in the Ningalda homework. In the Ningalda homework and the bar another terms of Ningal Oro Tavana in a the Kanikana and then Ningalda notes in a Ningala notebook in a note in a Subjects in your notebook maintain change the data. So income tax administration in the notebook will be the one of 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 the one. So that's all about with today's session. This is Asha SP signing off from Bosco Camp.